Today's flash briefing is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Visit a location today and be empowered. I'm Rob Cora, Colorado, nearing the 3,000 mark. New numbers from the state health department showing a spike in COVID-19 cases. 280 confirmed in El Paso County, just over 20 in Pueblo statewide. 69 people have now died from the virus. Digging deeper into the numbers and you can get a better idea of who's at risk and what communities are being hardest hit. The virus does not discriminate. Look at this chart, breaking it down by age group. Although the elderly especially vulnerable, these numbers from the state health department prove everyone is at risk. More people in their 30s now testing positive but are recovering whereas people over the age of 50 have more severe symptoms and wind up in the hospital. Right now, not only is El Paso County leading the state in deaths with a total of 13, you can see we're also in the top five counties with the most cases. Right now, Denver County reporting the most statewide. Time for a weather check. Here's Mike Daniels. Rob, we wrapped up the month of March with some really warm air. Pueblo came in with a high of 75, average only 63. In the springs, our high was 66. That's 10 degrees warmer than where we should be on that last day of March. Overnight low temperatures tonight, really pleasant for this time of the year, close to 40 in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo will have mostly clear skies, almost a half moon out there. You want to check that out. Afternoon highs for your Wednesday, launching April in a mild way. 70s and even 80s across parts of southeastern Colorado. A little breezy from time to time out of the southwest, 10 to 15 and even 20 miles per hour. In the springs, a few rain and snow showers late Thursday night into Friday. Friday, a cold day for April at only 42 degrees, but we'll make it up to you over the weekend. Close to 70 on Sunday, really mild Monday into Tuesday as well. And for Pueblo, afternoon highs falling back to 50 degrees by Friday. If you get any moisture at all over the next seven days, that'll come late on Thursday. A few rain showers in the mix. Thank you for listening to today's News 5 Flash Briefing, sponsored by Power Credit Union.